Hi everybody, Joey Chris here. Hey, I wanted to make a quick video. I had a customer that had an issue with a port in place strap. And if you don't know what a port in place strap is, uh, they put these uh, on a job when they're forming it and it, this part will actually end up buried in the concrete. When they remove all the form work, typically on a column, you will see that this strap is hanging out of the concrete. Uh, therefore, people coming after that need a tie off point will tie off to this D ring below. Uh, once the job is done, they simply take a razor blade and they cut it off. Uh, the issue we were having was the customer said after about a year of them being up, the D-rings on the end were actually falling off and we didn't understand why. Uh, I asked them to send me some pictures and instantly I saw the pictures, I knew why. What was happening is these straps were hanging on concrete and where they were was the city of San Francisco. They were actually going back and forth all night long as the wind would blow. So as you can guess, the back part of this nylon that is yellow was rubbing up against the metal and over a period of time it wore that nylon away. Therefore, the D-rings were falling. Now this is particularly dangerous because if you looked at the front of it, it looked great on the back side of it, it had worn through. Now imagine somebody falling and putting a load on that D-ring, it could have come apart. It's really important that we inspect these when they're on the job site. The other issues are ceiling grinders sometimes come up and they could nick it without looking at it. Uh, another issue is when these are being purchased, sometimes the price is the only consideration. I tell my customers, worry more about the construction of this particular strap. Notice on the outside of this one, there is a wear pad. Remember, these are coming out of concrete and it's jagged and it's rough. You want that wearing on the outside, not the load part of this little strap. Another issue I've seen out in the field is this. These straps are being sold as an I and an I sling, meaning the D ring is taken off and they only have a loop and a loop. Again, this saves a little bit of money by not putting the D ring on there. I'm not a fan of this at all and let me tell you why. When this is hanging out of the concrete and you've got a loop like it is now, and then I take my hook and I have to connect it on this loop, what happens is this goes through and I get it down. As you can see, it's bending up the material. This is not a compatible fitting in OSHA's eyes. Therefore, these straps are worthless. Again, spend a little bit of time and money and buy the unit that has a D-ring on it and it has the wear pad on the outside. The other issue is, and this is the way it's done most of the time, is if you were to look on the manufacturer's guidelines, it would tell you that you need to run a piece of rebar through here. Most customers will take it, wrap it around multiple pieces of rebar, and then cinch it down. Make sure the owner's manual gives you permission to do that. The other issue is some customers want to daisy chain these, meaning they've got one hanging down and they want to put another strap on this D-ring there. There is a manufacturer that has given me permission, but most of the time that's not allowed. Again, when you're inspecting these port in place straps, make sure to check the back of them. Make sure that you check the stitching. Make sure that there's no nicks or cuts because that's the last thing we want is for our end user to tie up on this, have a fall and this thing come apart. Again, if this video was helpful to you, please go to our YouTube channel where we have more videos like this.